saltini is an Italian delicacy that means little bundles. What it is is a piece of meat that's been pounded thinly, stuffed, rolled, and then cooked. What's great about this dish is that you can prepare it ahead of time and then pan sear it, fry it, serve it hot or cold, and for any meal time. I've sliced the turkey breast into a half inch thickness and I've placed it in between two pieces of plastic wrap so that I can pound it with a mallet. I'm going to use the flat side and pound the turkey breast until it reaches a quarter of an inch thickness. Our goal is to turn this turkey breast into as rectangular a shape as possible. We want to make sure that we trim off any excess turkey so that the shape of the involtini will be even. It's time to season our turkey, so I'm going to sprinkle both sides with some salt and a little bit of white pepper. Be careful when you lift the turkey up not to tear it. We're going to make sure to season the other side. You don't need too much seasoning, especially the salt. Some of the wonderful aromatic flavors we're going to add to the involtini are some dried marjoram, as well as some fennel pollen. If you can't find fennel pollen, you can also use crushed up fennel seed. I have some basil leaves here that have been cleaned of their stems, and I'm going to lay them on top of the turkey breast that's been pounded. I'm going to leave a little bit of space at the top over here so that when I roll the involtini up, it seals quite nicely. Here I have some turkey bacon, and I'm going to lay that on top of the basil. And then the last part of our involtini is going to be to lay our cheese. Here I have some thinly sliced provolone cheese which is a beautiful Italian cheese that has a little bit of a smoky flavor to it. Now let's roll our turkey and voltini up. This is the fun part. As tightly as you can, making sure that all the ingredients stay inside and you don't tear the turkey breast that's been pounded so thinly, you're going to roll this up into a very nice tight log. The next step for this dish is going to be rolling in the plastic. To assist us, I suggest that you wipe down your counter with a little bit of water. That's going to help our plastic wrap stick to the board. Now we're going to take our turkey, place it on the plastic wrap, and then we're going to roll this as tightly as we can, and we're going to do this twice. So pull the plastic wrap down against the turkey, roll it up as tightly as you can, and then hold the ends over here, come back towards you, and roll forward. Because we placed that water down on the counter first, you can see how easily that roll likes to tighten up. Now this time, I suggest that you place the plastic wrap lengthwise, put your roll down on top, roll it up, and you'll see that I have these longer edges over here that I'll be able to tie once the log has been formed. The reason that we want to tie the ends is because we're going to be cooking this in a water bath. And we just want to make sure that we seal in all of those beautiful juices. For the involtini, we're going to be using the sous vide technique. This is a very popular technique used in food service operations all around the world. At this point, it's very important to make sure that you have an airtight seal and that there's no air that's entered into your bag. Here I have our water bath that's been prepared to 145 degrees Fahrenheit using a thermocirculator. It's important that the temperature be correct before you add your product. So I'm going to place the bag of the involtinis inside. And if it's necessary, we might want to weigh them down if they start to float. And then I'm going to cover it with plastic or a lid to keep the heat in. We're going to cook this at 145 degrees for two hours. What that will do is we'll pasteurize the meat so that it's ready to serve. Now that our turkey is cooking, Let's make a savory, sweet, and delicious condiment to go on our plate. Beautiful balsamic reduction. I have here some delicious and high quality balsamic vinegar and some brown sugar. And we're gonna put this in a saucepan and we'll heat it on medium high heat until it reduces to about a quarter of its volume. So now we have this beautiful syrupy balsamic reduction. I'm going to set it aside to cool until we're ready to plate the dish. I'm ready to make our second sauce for our dish. So here I have a broccoli pesto made with basil, some Pecorino Romano cheese, some garlic, and some beautiful olive oil. So we're gonna actually put all of these ingredients into our blender, and if you like, you can add a pinch of salt. So I'm going to put our lid on our blender, open up the top here, and with the motor running, I'm going to add our olive oil. I've removed the turkey from the bags, and I've cut off the ends. And we're gonna add another layer of texture, flavor, and color to our dish by searing the turkey in a pan. 
So we're going to cook it just long enough in order to make sure that it has a beautiful color and a delicious flavor. So we're going to take our involtini and we're going to slice it into half inch slices. Each portion will be about five slices of the involtini. I have everything prepared to plate our turkey involtini. Let's start with our broccoli pesto. Look at this gorgeous color. It's going to add a wonderful layer of depth. I'm going to put a dollop on the plate and then I'm going to just give it a little bit of a swoosh with my spoon for some contrast. I'm going to follow the curve of that beautiful pesto. Next, we're going to plate some oven roasted tomatoes. These are Roma tomatoes that I've roasted with a little bit of olive oil, very low and slow in the oven. It's concentrated the flavor and the color. And then lastly, we're gonna use our savory, sweet, and rich, glossy balsamic reduction. You have to move fast with this one. There you have it. Your guests will enjoy this turkey involtini with broccoli pesto.